I've always been interested in health and fitness, always been interested in nutrition, always been interested in outdoor activities and kind of living a very kind of natural, healthy life. Growing up in Eastern Ontario and then in later years in British Columbia, we always did outdoor stuff as a family. We always were backpacking and canoeing and scrambling up mountains that made my parents nervous. And that sort of really led me to a very kind of active, outdoors-oriented kind of life now as an adult. And when I talk to people, I talk about this big holistic picture. I talk about this like this life that you live that includes nutrition, that includes good sleep, that includes healthy movement, but that really isn't confined to any one of those things and is really, really much broader. A lot of times people confuse being healthy with looking a certain way. And everyone knows that being really overweight isn't a really healthy state of being. The problem is that then people assume that if being overweight is unhealthy, that being a healthy body weight thus must mean you're really healthy, and that's simply not the case. And so what happens is this sort of paradoxical situation where the harder people work to make their body composition better, to lose body fat, to be a healthy body weight in general, the less healthy they are long term. The challenge really is re-educating people and getting them to understand that whether they're looking to lose weight, improve their health, prevent disease, improve athletic performance, all of those things really run through making consistently good choices. If you can kind of spin that into consistently good choices long term, where you get healthier over long periods of time, the body composition to a very large degree becomes relatively easy. And that's a hard sell for people. It doesn't really come as a surprise that three really important um, components of healthy living are uh, good nutrition choices, healthy sleep patterns, and healthy movement. And those can mean different things to different people, and they definitely don't mean the same things to everybody. But one of the things that I think that is um, an overlooked piece of that is not so much what you do in terms of quantifiable behaviors, but taking a step back from that whole thing and saying, why are you doing what you do? What are you looking to get from this? And ultimately that motivation for those choices I think is far more important than the actual choices themselves. Really what it comes down to is if you want to be healthy long term, you don't need to train really hard, severely restrict your food intake, take expensive supplements. You don't need to go to these really extreme measures to achieve very stable, sustainable, effortless health long term. And what I really want for people is to understand that and to get to a place where health is easy and health is intuitive and healthy is natural instead of it being like a battle and just having this sort of antagonistic relationship with your body where really it becomes easy and it becomes just the thing you do.